Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Kinga and I'm making YouTube videos to document for myself and some of my friends how I reinvent myself and my whole life after divorce. If you've seen any of my videos, you probably know that I use visualization uh, as the main technique to, to manifest things or attract things to my life. And in this video, I want to talk about another very powerful tool which is necessary to pay attention to or to understand when you want to attract or manifest things and that's called um, releasing resistance because you may want to attract something to your life and of course you can visualize it but if you have um, sort of a, a this belief in you uh, deep inside that for example this thing is impossible for you to manifest or you don't deserve it or it's it's not beneficial for you to have it, then you are going to create resistance in your vibration which will not allow that thing to flow to your existence. And I think that releasing resistance truly comes when we are in alignment with our higher self or inner being, you know, when, when we feel centered and connected to our true self desperately wanting something you know when you want something really really bad that can also create um, some sort of a resistance in your vibration it can put you into this misalignment or disconnected state you know it's going to be like a it's going to create a gap between you and your your true self because when you are focusing on how much you want that certain thing and you have this desperate intense wanting inside you it is also um, focusing on the fact uh, that you're not having that thing. So you're, you're also, you're basically um, wanting that from your current uh, feeling or thought of lack. Abraham Hicks, one of my main and favorite teachers, is um, or are encouraging us to always choose the path of least resistance. And that can also mean or it actually means sometimes just you know sitting back relaxing um, not making any effort uh, and just simply uh, allowing things to happen and trusting the universe so Abraham also calls this path of least resistance the path of most allowance because the art of allowing is nothing else but stopping resistance or stopping resisting meaning that when you align with your higher self with your true self you are just going to let things flow to you. Abraham says that things are supposed to be coming or flowing to your way. And you receiving it or not is a question of you allowing it or resisting it. And basically when you are in alignment, you just let things flow to you. Okay, enough of all the definitions. Um, so how I manifest things, um, just pure visualization. And I enjoy the whole process, you know, using my imagination. I enjoy it so much that I actually uh, like to do it several times a day. And, and because uh, through imagining uh, whatever I want to attract and through imagining it already being present, I really get into this non-resisting state and um, and I just keep visualizing, visualizing, visualizing until that thing manifests and it's been working for me pretty well. Uh, however, I know that there's another group of people who instead of just using their vivid imagination and sort of trust in the universe, they kind of have this tendency to observe their reality first or at the same time and that can create resistance for them because, you know, if you just look around uh, right now in your present you probably don't have that thing that you want to attract so you're gonna be creating or visualizing from the feeling of lack which is going to create resistance so for those people for those that group of people uh, what works best is if they just visualize that thing once maybe and then they just totally let it go like even forget about it they just let it go and don't think about it anymore and when uh, some people told me this i was like hmm, that's interesting like i never could have imagined that it works because you know i was really getting used i was used to my own technique uh which was doing it daily and and even a couple of times a day uh, also because it excited me and it inspired me and this friend of mine um told me about that whenever she manifested something big in her life, you know, relationships or jobs or whatever, this is how it always happened. Uh, she wasn't doing it consciously, but this is how it just happened for her. Like she visualized something and then 
she just went on with her you know daily life and she completely forgot forgot about it and you know in a couple of months time it just came to her reality and and that was shocking to me first but uh, then I listened to some more Abraham videos and and yeah that's true that's how it works for those of you who have some sort of a resistance in you or you just deep inside you don't really believe that that thing can happen for you and I actually got to use this um, technique as well the other day. I got an email from my employer that uh, within 10 days they're going to change my contract and then they're going to cut my salary significantly. And you know that was a shocking news because that sort of income was something that I was really relying on every month and also because I thought giving me 10 days notice is, is unethical probably also illegal uh, and I was shocked and I remember when I first read the email uh, I was crying but after that I actually changed my vibration my feeling about the whole situation and to be honest with you it wasn't a conscious decision um, it just happened because uh, during that time and also right now I have certain things going on in my life in other aspects of my life that really really make me feel good and happy and you know feeling good and happy kind of puts you in alignment so I believe I was very close to or in alignment at the time of receiving this shocking news and because of that I just couldn't really keep myself focusing on how tragic it sounds and how devastating it could be and how difficult it would be for, for me to find another job right now and just the whole situation you know um, so but so instead of having to make this conscious decision of uh, you know changing my vibration from this negativity to a, a, a better feeling thought um, I just instantly um, sort of let that thing go because I couldn't like I felt like I couldn't really be bothered which I know it sounds um, hard to believe because that income was my and still is my main income so I was really really relying on it um, but just somehow this being in alignment or feeling happy it just put me in a state where I was like you know what uh, I believe that everything just unfolds perfectly. I believe that everything is happening for a reason. Everything's going to be perfectly fine. Maybe the reason why I got this bad news is for me to be encouraged to look for a different job. Maybe it's time for me to, to move on. Maybe the, the universe wants to show me a different path or they want to uh, bring something different to my life or they want me to be prepared for maybe uh, moving or leaving the whole country. Like, I don't know, I just like all sorts of di different thoughts and possibilities. Uh, and I just felt this unexplainable calmness. Like, I stopped stressing about the, the situation. I stopped worrying and I even got to a point where I was like, you know what, I'm not even gonna be looking for another job. You know, whatever has to happen will happen and I'm totally okay and comfortable with it. And I emailed them back saying that, um, taking it into consideration that I've been a very reliable and trustworthy employee for them for three years now, uh, I would really value and appreciate if they gave me a longer notice, maybe two or three months time, uh, keeping the same salary. And after that, I suggest that they look for someone else because I'm not going to be able to or willing to do the same job for less money. And here, another interesting thing happened because normally, you know, we are in a, in a very close communication. So like we would reply to each other within the day, within a day. But this time it took them quite a long time, maybe even a week to get back to me. And you know, during that time, I could have been again, you know, be worried and, and stressing about, okay, what's going on? Why are they not replying to me? But I just, again, I just had this calmness in me. Uh, and I believe it's because I was happy um, and in alignment because of other things happening in other parts of my life. And um, so that's it. I just put it to the side. I just let my resistance go you know if I wanted to like fight with them um, and 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 sort of beg them to to keep me doing this job or trying to get a deal with them or I would just uh, stress about 
what, what difficult situation this is going to put me in and, and now I have to look for a job and you know, that would all create this resistance in my vibration. But I was just whew, letting everything go, being totally relaxed and seriously having or feeling this trust um, deep inside, you know, trust in the universe or trust in whatever is going to happen has to happen because it's going to bring me something better. Because that's how it always is, I believe. So I let my resistance go and they responded and they said, we want to keep you. We would like you to keep doing this job for us. So we're going to keep the same salary. Okay, they added some extra tasks, which I can still do during my normal working hours. So it's not putting, you know, so much extra work on me, but in return, you know, we can keep the same salary and I don't have to be looking for another job. And just the whole thing just feels comfortable and easy. And I believe that my attitude my mindset and my whole approach in that situation was something that seriously contributed to the outcome. Now I have another story that I'd like to share with you but that is going to have to be in another video and in that video I'd love to tell you how I used the same technique meaning you know letting resistance go and even forgetting about what I wanted to visualize for a couple of months and then I attracted it and what I attracted was my ideal home. I have already moved out of that ideal home because that was back uh, with my ex-husband but that story was truly magical and I'd love to share it with you. Uh, but for that I'd love you to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and also press on the bell sign so we can keep in touch and you can get notified when that next video comes out. Uh, hope to stay in touch with you. Take care. Bye. If you want a more intimate content and daily communication, please go and join my Facebook group called Kinga Kramer and Friends.